All right, good morning, everybody. Two things I want to mention. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that watches the channel and who has subscribed. We just passed over 400, so that's awesome. And you're probably wondering why Dustin's pulling a canoe into the water. I made a short clip for you guys explaining why we're in a canoe today, so we're going to go to that right now. All right, so taking a step back from canoe fishing right quick, Dustin and I didn't have a good experience the other day. We were coming back in from fishing out on the beach, and we kind of, what do you think? Rocky Creek? Found something a little on the rocky side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the boat did not like life. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little depressing. We figure sooner or later something like this would happen, but it happened sooner. Then later. Happened before gag season opened, man. <laughs> we're gonna miss opening weekend. Just before gag season because we were planning to go super ham on that, but we'll show you guys what we did. So good old Proppy here got a nice tweak session. And she definitely is bent. She, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but she rotates nice and up and down, so that shaft's definitely done. Kind of missing a little something right there. <laughs> that ain't right. And who knows what else we did internally, but by the time you guys watch this video, hopefully the boat is at the shop. I think we're gonna get it in this Friday, and insurance is a savior, I guess. <laughs> we were planning some big grouper trips beginning very first opening weekend of gag and uh those put got put on hold so meanwhile we're fishing out of a canoe going super old school all right so there's your guys a little update about the boat but now we're going to get back to canoe fishing and that answers your question why we're fishing in a canoe Watch. all right so we got the boat in the shop it's probably going to be about a week until it gets back so we got the old trusty canoe with us today we're gonna go paddle around some shallow water flats and uh, see if we can pop some reds here we've got a few dozen pinfish with us I think we got do we have one art rod we got one artificial rod with us and it's supposed to be a nice nice tide swing today so I'm gonna help Dustin walk this thing out and we'll get back to you guys when we get all set up so guys uh, the tides a little bit low and we got about Two hours until it's fully low. So, um, with me and Brandon both being kind of little on the chunky side, us both in the canoe, it won't float in uh, the ankle deep water that we're walking in right now. So, we're just walking over to a spot that's ready to start fishing until tide starts flowing back in. And then, once tide flows back in, we're gonna be fishing everything today. Just, and I'm hoping, that, I'm thinking it's gonna be a pretty dang good day. But we're gonna see what happens. All right, guys, we just paddled the quarter mile to our first spot here. We're about to get cut baits in the water here, and we're gonna see if we can get on some fish. There's a nice deep trough where if these fish are in here, they definitely got trapped in here because tide's too low out there for them to get out. So we're gonna whip out some cut baits in these mangroves. We're gonna see if we can get on some redfish here. Yep, we're on. Oh, Dustin got one. All right, guys, so we just hooked the first redfish of the day in the canoe. Oh, nice, nice. It feels like a nice one. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh it's it's snook. It's a snook. Oh, that was a good snook, dude. That was close to a 30 inch snook. I thought it was a redfish at first. All right, guys, unfortunately, that snook, he just went crazy and ended up fraying through the leader right here at the side of the canoe. Probably close, probably a 28-inch snook all day. Could have been closer to 30, I don't know, but he just frayed right through that leader, and, you know, that happens when you're fishing, but Dustin's back there going to retie. We're going to get baits back out. Hopefully, we can make something happen here. All right, guys, we're on something else now. I don't know what it is. It's either a redfish or a snook. Not 100%. Acting more like a redfish this time. 
Baby red? That's a pretty good red. Is it? Oh yeah, that's right. Nice red. Come back this way. Come back this way. Redfish for days, boys. Hey, there you go. Good. Not a bad one. No, definitely not a bad one. All right, guys. So it's a little hectic out here rushing out of the canoe. I just lost that snook, and then just landed this nice redfish. Definitely a decent, decent and red for. I mean, we're just messing around. It's dang, never fails. Doesn't matter if we're in a canoe or the epic. We're freaking dropping fish. Come here, little guy. Uh. Uh. Oh my God, that was a sick redfish eat. Holy crap! All right, guys. So we're gonna get a picture of this guy, and uh, we're gonna talk about the next one because we got the flat is just fired up right now. Oh, it just soaked me. <laughs> God. Money. All right, I think there's a fish on here, guys. Speak up. Oh, yeah. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Come on, back this way. Woo! <laughs> Away from the canoe, please. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> He wants under the canoe so bad. <laughs> no. You think you can just grab the leader and pull him in? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Come on, this way. All right. I can only catch dings for the past month. Nice little dinker out here in the canoe. Not terrible fishing right now. I think we're going to push up a little bit further on this flat here with the incoming tide to a different spot. But it's two redfish and one missed snook in the canoe. Later, buddy. All right, we're going to pack up. We're about to move. Oh, oh, you're on. What, my you're, front rod? You're, you're, your front rod. Your front rod just got hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> baby, we're not going to move. <laughs> Come on, baby. That's a better red. Feels better, just doesn't feel massive. I'm I think massive. he's swimming towards you is the issue. Yeah, running like a boat. So weird. He's hauling he's towards the boat. He's coming straight for the boat. Ew. He's pulling us in a circle. Uh, Another little one? This dinkers, guys. That's all I got. <laughs> All you can catch lately. All I can catch is a ding ding. It's gonna be a retire too. Well, you got the snip still up there, don't you? Oh, come on. On action happening right now, guys. Let this little guy back go. <laughs> Bite's picking up. <laughs> All right, GoPro's on. All right, guys, so I just had a cut bait out sitting, and I hooked into something, it, acting like a shark again, but it could be a big red. We're not sure. It didn't take line or nothing. I just picked up to check my bait, and it was on, so only reason why I think it's a redfish, and it hasn't darted out like a big shark would have. I don't care, I brought the dang. Bait? The yeah, I brought a stringer with. Hey, it's better than a shark though, dude. Yeah, way better than a shark. I'd rather catch this than a stupid shark. That's a pretty big, big jack. All right. Gonk, 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 gonk. Let me find my stringer. 
All right, guys, so that's a jack I just caught. We're going to end up keeping him for bait. So, hey, Brandon, you want to hand me the, uh, the pliers? Thank you. Thank you. Goliath grouper bait, boys. As long as a big bull shark or something don't come up to the boat, because that's going to be fun. Sun's up. We're trying to get into backcountry areas, deep trough areas right now where we're thinking the redfish are holding up. Seen a lot of mold schools, but really haven't seen any redfish. Seen a couple snook, but not much in this area. So we're going to shoot out of here and go to another area we think might hold some fish. I'm on. I already got, I got the GoPro on. All right, I don't know what it is hooked into, guys, but it ate a live pinfish that I tossed out there. Oh, it's a little red. What the frick? I can boat flip him, he's not very big. All righty, did we just figure out what the redfish are eating? Beautiful little redfish, guys. Look at him. Gorgeous little guy. Beautiful little red. Look at that. Look at that little fella. There we go. Alright guys. Uh-huh. Okay, so we're gonna move closer to that mangrove tree then. No, but live pinfish definitely worked. All right, guys, so I just hooked up on something. Not quite sure what it is, but it's fighting better. Acting like a better redfish. Come here. Boom. Redfish in the net. Finally, a little bit better sized red. I've only been working for this little guy for Oh, I don't know, a few hours. Dustin finally got a redfish. We've been at this spot for like an hour now and bite is slow, super, super slow. This is only number two that we caught here. The other one was a lot smaller than this one. <laughs> and they're eating live pinfish, can you believe it? I don't know, probably get a pick of this guy. We'll get him back in water and try getting some more live baits up against the mangroves. This makes it number five for today for redfish. Not too bad of a day so far, really just fishing out of a canoe, but it's been a grinder. Yeah. All right, you guys. Yep. All right, guys, we are back at the boat ramp after paddling for a few miles today. Didn't do quite as well as we would like to, but we're fishing out of a canoe and Limited tackle while the boat's in the shop, so yeah. we try to do what we can. Dustin caught a decent red, I caught a couple smaller ones. We got this nice jack here that we're gonna keep for uh, Goliath or shark bait later on, so not a total loss day, but gotta do what you gotta do while the boat's in the shop right now, so we're gonna pack this canoe up and we're gonna get out of here, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give us a like, it helps us out. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys are subscribed. And hopefully in the next video, we'll have the boat back. See ya.